Hey guys, this is Zach for FNL, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to change the size and scaling of space and ground units in this edition of How to Mod Star Wars Empire War. I'm going to be using the XML data files, and I'm using EditPad Lite to edit these text files. Links will be in the description for the XML files and EditPad Lite. And we're going to look at ground vehicles, just for a quick example. And we're going to see that we have all these areas that are commented, so you know exactly what these values are standing for. And you're going to scroll down a little bit, and you're going to see under AT, AT Walker. Go down a little bit, quite a few lines, until you get Scale Factor, and the Scale Factor is set to 1.75 by default, as the XML files suggest. Simply just change the number to say 1.0, which would be 1, or you can actually take the decimal off, just make it 1. Or you can remove the 1, make it a smaller number, such as 0.75. But make sure you don't take away these arrows, because these arrow marks are part of the comments, and if the comment isn't commented, then it will show up as part of the data and it will screw up your game. It will usually it won't start. I'm not entirely sure. So now we can close this. I'm not going to save it, but if you are going to change some stuff in here that feel free. Ground vehicles means that every vehicle that you can use in a ground based situation is there, whether it's Imperial or Rebel. Even pirate ones, I believe. In the form of the ATPTs, and we can scroll down through our files till we find space units. We're going to go to space units corvettes for this example, and we're going to see the Tartan Patrol Cruiser in comments right there. That's the title. And scroll down. Here we have the Corellian Corvette which is the Rebels Corvette of choice. You see the scale factor, just as with ground vehicles, but these are space vehicles. Scale factor is at a 0.5. Now I'm going to change this 0.5 to a 3, and then I'm going to leave the decimal off, just a 3, or I could just leave it on there to show you guys. 3.0, either one is 3. And I will show you guys an example in-game of how much the size of this Corvette change. And one more thing, by the way, guys, make sure that your XML folder is in this directory. Computer, C drive, Program Files, x86, LucasArts, Empire at War, Game Data, Data, and then just paste it in there. Provide your administrator permissions. Now the game should be able to run off these XML data files. So now I will get to that example in game so I can show you guys what exactly happened to this Corvette after timesing its scale by 6. Okay guys, so here we are in game, just playing a skirmish battle. And we're going to produce some Corvettes. Just so we can show you how big these things are. Just gotta wait, you know. To, you can't just spew out ships at that quick of a rate, you know. You gotta build those. But the reinforcements are here. Look at that. Look at that. Look how massive that thing is. Look at that. Th that's absolutely huge. Look at that. Whew. That thing's about the size of a... It's bigger than a Victory 2 class frigate. Man, that is huge. Whew. Look at Let's see how well it moves. Get moving. 
Look at the engine particles, though. They're so small. Yeah, I, w I would recommend changing things like particles. Go to particles and find engine particles. And you can also change the scale with, as those, so it'll match with the ship itself, instead of being those little tiny fireballs. <laughs> That's funny. Look at this. It's like a massive fleet of corvettes. They're not really corvettes anymore, though. Anyway, guys, that's my example showing you what you can do. You can make these even smaller if you want, whatever. Make these ships absolutely insanely massive. I don't care. And that'll just about do it for this tutorial. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching it, and I hope you learned something from it. This has been... How to Mod Star Wars Empire War with Zek on FNL. I'll see you guys later.